everyone this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by today today I'm going to show you how I paint my version of a lily um, I know there's a lot of different types but I'm just going to do a very simple one for you I'm going to be using two flat brushes a number 8 and a number 10 these are both plaid one stroke brushes and then a number 2 liner then I'm going to be using folk art paint a combination of multi-surface and um, enamel. I'm using Moon Yellow Thicket. Oops, sorry. Berry Wine and Autumn Leaves. Alright, I've already gone ahead and cleaned this bottle. This bottle is one that I use for the purpose of doing videos on. I have cleaned it off what I would recommend if you're going to be doing a type of glass painting is make sure you wash it with uh, soap and water and that you then go over it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure that you got all the grease and grime and any dust or residue anything like that that's left over after cleaning it. Alright, All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually, uh, forgot to mention one that I'm adding here is warm white. Again, these are all folk art paints combination of multi-surface and enamels. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the autumn leaf, the moon yellow, and I'm going to use a little bit of the warm white just to try to give it a little bit more opaqueness because I'm finding that I'm having a hard time with this color with the coverage. I'm not sure why. It just doesn't want to want to do it. And it's just a simple little design. I'm going to go ahead and go around and keep adding the petals. And then I'll probably come back here and add a little bit more. Now you can if you want, you can like rotate the colors a little bit where you've got a little bit of the yellow on top in some instances or the orange on top. That's really up to you. And again I'm just doing simple little strokes I'm pulling them down. Just like that. And then I'll just keep working around. And if you want to do like a make your leaves a little I don't want to say curly, but a little uh, curved. That's what I'm. That's the word I'm looking for. Curved. Then you know, do so. Like this one's a little curved. It'll hang over the edge a little bit. And I am just doing a single flower. Or yeah, single flower. Well, I said that wrong. But I do like to try to work for, with um, creating an opaque design just for the fact that it will have more durability if it's opaque. Now with the bottle that's just going to be pretty much sitting as home decor piece, that's probably not too big of a concern. But, I mean, you still want it to look nice. I still want it to look nice. And then I'm just going to keep moving. I have one more, one more petal to paint in here. You can make your, your lilies 
five petals, six petals. I think typically there's six. But you can make um, you can make them whatever you want, actually. I mean, seriously, you can make them whatever color you want them to. All right, I'm gonna go back over this one here. Kind of clean this brush off a little bit. And sometimes you'll find if you, you have to be careful if you go back over a design. See, like it's lifting some here. So you have to be careful. So I like to try to work with it and get it, get the consistency that I want right from the very beginning. But when I come back over it like this, I'm just lightly touching, lightly touching in hopes to get that desired consistency and look that I'm after. I guess my point is try not to overwork your project, which I probably am here a little bit, but with doing a video it's kind of hard. I don't really want it to be a really long video, and I don't want it to be um, you know, too difficult. It definitely is a little bit tougher to paint on glass than any, any other surface. And a good product to, to actually work on to get your skills would be wax paper. And I have done a video on that before. Now this particular lily, I am not planning on putting any kind of freckles on it or dotting. I'm just going to leave the petals alone. And that was my intent from the beginning. I just don't, I just want to do a plain, plain lily. Nothing too crazy. And just see how pretty that is. You know, you're you're giving it some kind of give it some drying time, and then you're going back in and adding to it. You know, I'm, I'm not overworking it. I mean, you could actually give it some drying time, maybe even a 24-hour period in between coats if you wanted to. Not necessarily required. I know some people like to do that. Maybe even to mix in a flow medium with the paint will give it a smoother consistency on the paint. But I think this is fine. I mean, it's, it's good. You just try to do like some nice smooth strokes on it. And there you go. So far, so good. And you got some, I don't want to say movement, but you've got, you just don't have straight petals. There's a little bit of movement. Again, not too much, but a little bit. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is stick my liner brush into my Thicket Green. And then I'm going to start putting the little stamens or however you reference these. And just lightly dragging them. You can crisscross them a little bit if you want. And I'm going to put in hopefully six here that I'm striving for. And then I like to normally go under these, just do like a little line. Not anything too fancy. You can go back over all of the screen detail if you want to with the with the moon yellow if you want. Just kind of I want to say thickens it up a little bit maybe but it also gives it a little bit more interest. 
than just having the green by itself. And I have a bug. <sighs> oh. oh, sorry, buggy. I can't believe I have a bug in my video. Good heavens. <sighs> Get. <laughs> that was unexpected. All right. So then what I want to do is just go around to the ends of each one of these. Put a little dot. I guess I do have some dotting in here, but that's all I'm going to do. It's just a little dot at the end. And then I'm just kind of wiping it off, but I'm not going to actually rinse it off or do any... Oh my goodness, this bug is back. Alright, so then I just take a quick little swoop on the ends. Not quite a C. Maybe like a partial. Like that. And this just gives it, again, gives it a little more interest than just coming through and putting this on the ends of the green. And there you go. Alright, again, I'm not going to do any freckling or any dotting on the leaves themselves. I'm going to take my smaller number eight flat brush, put it into the thicket green and the yellow. I like using these two together. This kind of brightens brightens up the green. And then I'm just gonna do like just a swirly little little stem. And pull it down through here. I apologize my what you're hearing is my husband is watering our plants outside, so he just turned the faucet on. So between my air conditioning running and my husband, you get to hear it all. Sorry about that. And then for the leaves, I'm just doing some, kind of like basically how I did the petals of the flowers. Just some easy... Now I'm just dipping my brush into like each side of the brush into the colors that I want to use. Doing a pull down the center of the leaf. My space is not very big so it's limiting me as far as the amount of space for my design based you know, on the paper that I was using to create the design initially. So it's different but it's nice still. I mean, I'm just looking at this thinking, you know, it's so nice to be able to create something fun, good piece of home decor. It's something that I can help keep stuff out of the, out of the um, landfill, have a pretty home decor piece in the end, and brighten up a room. Like I said, when you're doing this, you can, you know, work with the colors, work with the, the shading, the blending, whatever you want to call it. You can just take your time, have some fun with it, gather your friends. If you're still working on the quarantine thing and not really socializing in person too much, hey, pretty easy to do. I am just going to leave the design as is. I could put more leaves. You could put uh, leaves coming up from the actual flower, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it's pretty just the way it is. Brightens up this bottle. It would look great sitting on a, a mantle or a shelf, bathroom, bedroom, living room, family room, many places that you could put a design such as this. Anyways, hope you like it. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would take a minute to hit that, that share button that you'll see underneath the video, I would greatly appreciate that. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. 
Again, thank you so much for taking time to view my video. Stick around and see some of my other work. And until the next time, stay safe and healthy and have a good one.